Yo, Gyromonk plays into the Gungeon here. Let's go. Paradox run. We got the challenge mode on, I'm pretty sure. Do we have to turn it on every time? I'm gonna check. I'm gonna double check. We gotta, yeah, we got time. I feel like rolling the bones. Heck yeah, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Challenge runs off the his A. Gives you something to look forward to uh, as far as giving me more challenge through a regular run. You know, we made a couple of mistakes in the last run. I'm gonna call myself out right off the bat. <clears throat> we weren't really sure what we were trying to do. And uh, we need to have uh, a firm goal before uh, trying to attempt one of these. So I think one of the main things we should do is align ourselves with our goal. Uh, and <laughs> I, I feel like I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. I don't. I promise. So what do we have here? Cursed bullets. Too spooky. All right. So first goal, make it to the end. How do we make it to the end? The easiest way to get there. Are you are you one of those people that like try to challenge yourself so you can you know be better than at the end? I feel like those kind of people don't really realize what they're doing uh, is kind of counterintuitive sometimes. Because <laughs> like, what if you make it so tough on yourself that you don't even make it to the end? You don't even you don't even uh, you know get to the goal. What if you? end up giving up because you made it tough on yourself is it more worth it for you that you uh that you have these prerequisites so like i i want to give an example and i'm trying to buy time for me to think of an example <laughs> so like say i wanted to lift like th i wanted to bench 300 pounds and I talked to a bunch of coaches. I talked to a bunch of people that have, you know, have done weightlifting. And they're like, yeah, so the, the best way to get there is like just steady climb. Um, just do like, you know, 50 pounds. Just do the bar at first. Add, add a small weight on both sides. A second. What's Rat's Revenge? Oh, I, I know what Rat's Revenge is now. I found out very fast what Rat's Revenge is. Um, okay, so yeah, the best way to get there is increment yourself by like 20 pounds at a time. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give myself, you know, a little bit more of a challenge. I'm gonna do 100 pounds for like, for forever until I can go up 50 pounds. If I can't go up 50 pounds, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna lift 20 more pounds than my previous one. What? That's that sounds like what? You know? Nah, I'm too good for that. See, that's, there's a there's an arrogance problem there, and I feel like you should listen to the people that um that, that you put yourself uh, under already. You know, you already had the courage to ask them for advice. Why not take it? Where were we going with this? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we were saying that we need a plan and we need to execute the plan uh, and not go through all the hoops so basically what I'm saying is we need to not cause so many hoops to be there for us <laughs> and what I mean is why the heck why in the, we spent the whole first floor babbling to get to this question why the heck did we buy the nod key it is of zero importance to this sort of run you know the, this challenge run it it benefits zero to go to the rat we just need to beat the dragon and then we win whatever prize is at the end now somebody out there you know if you have more knowledge than i do or if you like, are, are willing to to go through the uh, through the Wikipedia, I guess I, I'm gonna eventually have to go there. But I'm I'm just doing this off of the off of the dome piece. 
You know, I'm just like scouring what I have not done in the game yet. And I'm just doing those because, you know, I'm, I'm just playing the game here. Uh, obviously, I enjoy the game. Obviously, I am planning on doing a billion of these episodes. <laughs> You're like a billion. What? <laughs> I mean, technically, I'm like at 70. So, like, props to myself there. Vorpal bullets, I feel like, are... Uh, they seem better than they are, actually are. That's not to knock it that much. I just, you know, they're not that great. They are, they are better than... They're better than, uh... Nothing. <laughs> and also, they're, they're pretty good with this gun right here. Because it has a pretty high rate of fire, etc, etc. We'll get a lot of crits going. Income. What are we doing? Gun Q. Okay, that's fine with me. We... Okay. I was about to say, uh, we haven't changed at all? There we go. GG. I'm a little teapot. Okay. What do we have here? Thermal clips. Hey, remember that conversation we had in the last episode? Let's not go back into that one. What else can clips mean, though? Like, clips, we were saying, are, you know, like, the, the videos you see of streams, like, parts of streams that are actually uh, the only interesting part that happened during the stream. They're basically, like, the YouTube video part of the stream. So like if you if you don't like Twitch, you'll probably still enjoy clips because they're you know they're they're coming at you like a, at a really high rate, and uh, your ADD can um, can be satisfied. <laughs> That's really what it is, right? I mean, I I totally understand <clears throat> to an extent. I I'm more of like a like a drone out and listen to kind of guy. I mean, obviously, if you're listening to this, like, this is the kind of stuff that I personally enjoy. Like, um, I, I say this a lot, but you make stuff that you enjoy. You know, like, people that knit, I bet they, uh, they don't just knit garbage. <laughs> they don't knit, I guess you could go that route, too. They don't knit garbage bags. <laughs> because they want to knit something that they enjoy. To, like to look at or something that they're gonna give which they're gonna enjoy the uh, the expression on the person's face when they provide them with said gift or like uh, like a video somebody making making a video or like uh, my brother does editing like um, like wedding photography etc etc and so yeah, you, you make stuff that you yourself would enjoy if you were to consume said product. I feel like that's... I feel like that's pretty... It's like a pretty normal thing. So, this is, uh, this is about it. Yeah, so if you... If you also enjoy these, then this is, um... Yeah, we have something in common, so... That's nice. Isn't that nice to think about? It's nice having something in common with somebody. It's a good conversational starter. I think that's the main thing. Like for me, I'm I've always been an extreme introvert, but my tastes in anything is always like extremely widespread. You know, a lot of people say uh, a pretty <laughs> Uh, what, what's what's the phrase I'm looking for? Cookie cutter phrase. It's a, it's a very popular cookie cutter phrase. They say, uh, somebody asks them, "Hey, what kind of music are you into?" <laughs> what, what what do they say? You, I'm, I'll give you five seconds. I like everything <laughs> except country. You know, it's literally. Every single person that I've known in my young adult life, everyone's just like, yeah, I like, I like everything, but, you know, and then you, you get the rare person that's just like, 
Actually, I really enjoy country too. So like, I, I actually do like everything. Now, I show them a little bit of Modest Mouse. I show them a little bit of Mew without you. I show them uh, some some Mew. No, I'm not. I didn't say Mews. I said Mew, as in like the Pokemon. And then they're like, "Okay, well, that's not even really music." I'm like, "You, <laughs> um, all right." <laughs> I'm just, I'm just showing you your perspective is just a little bit off there. Yeah, 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 we're expecting some detail here, you know, like, otherwise I'm expecting you to, to like this stuff. Also like, you know, throwing a bit, uh, throwing a bit of uh, ICP in there, throwing a bit of, uh, I don't know why I'm like going straight to the weird stuff. Like tech nine is tech nine weird. I don't know. I like tech nine. I like the, the way that he flows and the doo, 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 doo. like I like that bouncy rhythm like where they just kind of dance around the lyrics I think Kanye West kind of like made that pretty popular too but like Kanye is Kanye so I'm not a I'm not about to be a Kanye defender here why not Kanye's awesome no it's just Uh, just a little bit of background for you. I, I went to, I went to a school where people claimed he was a Christian rapper. Let's just, I, <laughs> I mean, since we brought up CCM before <laughs> in the last one, you know, it's just, it's, it's on my mind. It's just, uh, how, how wrong could you be? And also like, it's, it's not really that was something that was very popular in the early 2000s but oh you know what we're gonna give you two runs here mm-hmm because I care about you because I you know I want you to stick around <laughs> yo these these runs are costing 11 per run are you kidding me we're gonna be broke all right so what were we talking about Kanye West. I don't know. This load screen is taking me long, so it's a little. It's, it's, I'm adjusting. I'm resetting my brain because I uh, I forgot that I. What did I say in the beginning of the first run of these challenge modes? I should be talking a little bit more about Gungeon in these episodes than your typical into the gungeon run why was that why did i say that <laughs> because these are tough these are purposefully made to, to add a little bit more variance in every single room to trip you up so why have i been talking about all kinds of nonsense this whole time you know we got double vision this run Let's not screw it up. Blobulin Rancher is actually something we can uh, definitely use the sling for. A little bit of background information from Blobulin Rancher. I've seen a couple of other uh, content creators run into this um, this challenge and uh, completely fail about what it's all about. Um, this bundle of wands. I want the bundle of wands pretty badly. What is this tool belt? I don't need this tool belt. Nah, I don't know. That's fine. But yeah, into the gungeon. You ever heard of it? It's a pretty good game, isn't it? It's a nice thing to uh, to have in common with somebody too. Enter the gungeon is is one of those that's like pretty well known as far as a roguelite is it con is concerned you know like uh slay the spire obviously recently because it's it's fairly new um binding of isaac's pretty popular too uh spelunky is up there uh, pretty much the best ones i mean <laughs> they're the ones that uh definitely should be brought up in contention i don't know if noida is going to be in that list um, Rogue Legacy, in my opinion, isn't on that list. Fight me. Uh, 
um, Hades is is possibly is potentially on that list. You know, I, I feel like I I feel after playing <laughs> and we've we've trashed on Rad a couple times, but after playing Rad, Hades looked so much better for me. I'm like, okay, all right, I'll give I'll give Hades another chance, and I did. Enjoyed my time. It was it was a swell time. I spent maybe. Uh, close to 10 hours playing the game and um, got to got through the Hydra boss. I was like, all right, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you again when you're more complete. <clears throat> Which, yeah, we'll we'll revisit that. I don't know if I'm revisiting that on like a stream or anything like that. It doesn't have motion controls. Also, I, I don't know how strict I am. <laughs> I'm going to be with that. But I mean, as much as I can, I want to play games with, uh, I guess you can call them gimmicks. <laughs> I do. Okay. So here's a couple. I'm, I'm going to list a couple games that I'm interested in playing in the near future. Um, obviously there's Pokemon. Let's go. Uh, it's got, it's got the capture feature that I'm really <laughs> interested in. Um, I'm not even being facetious. It's actually. Um, what's the word that I'm looking for? It, it's perplexing that people were uh, saying that it's okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Because I, I like I like the catching feature in Pokemon Go, the phone game. But I don't know why they felt they had to need. Uh, they felt they had to put that into a like a, like a real Pokemon game. You know, I was one of those that was like extremely, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's uh, extremely irate about the first Pokemon Switch game being a dud, like a knockoff. Are you kidding me? I, I'm finally on a system that I can like, you know, push some Pokemon on, um, on the heavy. And honestly, I'm, I'm more excited about Temtem than I am about uh, Pokemon itself. But we'll see about that. Uh, it, it doesn't even look like Pokemon anymore, <laughs> to be honest. They sold the game as a Pokemon MMO, and it doesn't look like that anymore. So um, let's refill in the sling. I think we're good here. Mm, should we be, though? Also, why can't we highlight this? Did we go into this room and fail? Oh, this is the room where we got caught. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. There was a hand in here. Okay, so we can't kill that guy until the room is cleared. Okay. Well, that's fine with me. It's a pretty easy rule. Was that the only guy? <laughs> All right, cool. We're clear. That's something you want to hear from the from the drug test. Whenever you have to pee in a cup. Also, if you drink a lot of water, like if it's actually clear, then dude, you know, you got nothing to be embarrassed about. Although I wonder if somebody's like. <laughs> had the, the the clearest of of urine and then it was just like a hundred percent drugs in there I <laughs> it's gotta be it's gotta be something that happens right because like just because you drink a lot of water doesn't mean you you're not doing some meth that's <laughs> I I think look I'm, I'm no meth expert okay I, I'll admit this <laughs> have not touched any hardcore drugs in my life. I, I apologize. I don't have the correct context to, to provide you with uh, with the content that you are expecting. You know, the, the the right perspective, if you will, <laughs> on on this manner. Uh, all right. Let's get to the second level. Twenty minutes in. Ah. Uh. Whew. I got one of those, uh, 
those lemonade cups from I don't know if you go to like carnivals and stuff you probably you know you probably you'd rather watch a YouTube video than be surrounded by 5,000 people in in a 50 foot diameter <laughs> yeah no thanks to that right um, eating carny food and getting ripped off by uh, people saying that you could do this really easily and you'll win a stuffed animal and you uh, you try your hardest and you barely hit the mark and they give you the equivalent of a McDonald's toy and it's just you know a slap in the face um, not to be like a huge downer on carnivals but it, it really does feel like that doesn't it it feels like a knockoff version of a theme park it's I think that's what they're going for too like literally the rides are they they feel like they're I don't know like if you're comparing hold on um, this is a very cursed room I might not have time for conversing within it <laughs> Okay, okay. Yo, we activated double vision. Oops. Oops. That's our previous name. Uh, sir, that's actually <coughs> Omni, so I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> a lot of my friends that I made, like, you made friends? No, a lot of the streamer people, okay? Yeah, you want me to, you want me to be a little bit more focused on my statement um a lot of the t the content creators that we met and became friends with they, they knew me as omni and i didn't i, I kind of like always wanted to get away from it because <laughs> omni seems like such a like a powerful name for what i you know what i feel like my position in what's the tv here we don't need the TV anymore. We have the robot. But yes, so Omni just feels like, you know, all. <laughs> yeah, and I'm in charge of everything. I see all. I am all. You know, that kind of thing. It just, it felt very heavy handed. <laughs> Even though, like, people kind of said it in, like, in a cutesy way. You know, you got your Omnis, you got your. You know, stuff like that. Uh, we're not we're not here to make fun of my old name. Um, but yeah, I just uh, was gonna say. I don't know where I was going with this. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. <clears throat> we were talking about carnivals before we got destroyed in that last room. I never was a fan. I think it's because my parents weren't a fan either. But they felt like. <laughs> And I don't know if I'm going to be this kind of parent. Um, they felt like they needed to b like bring me through one every now and then just to give us the experience of having to have gone through that. I don't understand, you know, like. I 100% blame all of my idiosyncrasies on my parents and I I also thank them for that I guess I oh <laughs> something I always noticed about my dad a little bit of a little bit of dad lore gyro dad I'm the omni dad I guess you could say too I don't care um <laughs> it sounds like you care I don't okay it's just I I don't uh, just call me what you, what you want what you really really want um so yeah my dad he never he never talked <laughs> he would watch tv he would do like grunts whenever we saw him like i guess he would like play sometimes but he was i understand he i was born when he was like 40 something like mid 40s and so i understand the the awkwardness that that is Cause like being a like a twenty some year like late twenties now with a with a new kid, it's it's taking all of my energy. 
keep up with the little guy, the little uh, lady. So I understand to to an extent. Um, why I I may have not gotten as much like you know playtime as as my oldest brother, who's 14 years older than me. I I get it. I get that part. What I don't get. Is why he never said a word at home and then once we got to a party he was the focus of attention <laughs> in the circles he would be telling all these stories he's he's uh he was a party animal dude and I uh, I gleam a lot from that <laughs> I I definitely see myself in that like situation quite a bit i'm not in, like the life of a party but i know how to like liven up a party more than it currently is you know what i'm saying like um wow what is this monster blood i think uh, i'm gonna go with monster blood i like monster blood especially because it makes us i think immune to poison but but yeah so basically doing a little callback from my other conversation i I have a lot of things that I like in different genres of things. You know, I feel like I'm very well versed in lots of different subjects. And it makes me uh, uh, somewhat of like a conversational jack of all trades. And I, I feel like I, I want to expand that a little bit more. You know, I listen to more things etc etc yeah it's part of the reason why i enjoy streaming i get exposure to uh, a lot a lot of things that i don't uh from daily life we have blobulin rancher are you kidding me okay well shotgun shots don't seem like they're oh boy Uh, hold on. Hold on. I said hold on. Oh, wait, we're immune. Not to shots. Are you... <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? People are probably playing some Call of Duty now. It's another thing, like video games. I've played so many different types of video games. I feel like that is one of the things I can relate to the most as people. And so that's probably why I, I like this uh, this quote unquote field so much is because I it it's one of those things that I have experienced so many different areas of it. You know, talking about like. Tony Hawk, talking about like uh, Driver, even from PlayStation One, Final Fantasies, um, even sports games. I used to play a lot of 2K on my PS4 um, back in the early days of uh, my marriage. Um, yeah, not so much like football. Obviously, you 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 typically play sports games that are in the wheelhouse of the sports that you enjoy. You know, talking about some some more weird games like Katamari Damacy. Um, it's pretty popular though. Although when I talk about like popular video games, uh, it's always one of those things. It's just like, well, it's popular to the sector of people that, you know, that may have been able to hear about said game. Um, but yeah. I feel like I definitely have more knowledge of of video games and uh, like traditional video games than than uh, I would say music. Like if someone calls back to like a Aerosmith song, like uh, I don't really know any titles of an Aerosmith song like off the top of my head. I don't want to close my eyes. Is that is that one? 
Don't wanna fall asleep cause I'll miss you, babe. I don't know why we sang that like we were, uh, got stap. I want. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I, I want somebody to make uh, a cover of that. And say, I miss you, Beb. Instead of Babe. I don't know. Let me know if you find a YouTube cover. Um, Let's kill this guy first. Are you kidding me? Everything is so tanky. Are these the, are, are these the rules of the room? Nothing is dying. Oh, there's a king. We got to take out LeBron first. LeBron James. LeBron James. Yo. Everything is still so strong. Okay, here we go. Finally dead. Fine. Oh, juked. Is this going to get me? It got me. Are you kidding me? Well, here we are. I'd hate to lose on this level again. Because it's I think this is where we lost the last run. Um I'd hate to foreshadow it again. Because I think we called our death last time, like pretty easily. This game is one of those games though, you can just feel the death coming. Maybe if you were uh, a better player than I, you uh you could probably uh do something about it. But yeah, I guess you could say like I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty blessed. Hashtag blessed to, to have had the, uh, the opportunity to, to have such a, a varied palette. You know what else I have a varied palette in, I think is a, uh, uh, TV shows and movies. You know, I, I never noticed, um, uh, that like the, the horror genre is like basically abhorred by a specific group of people um oh yeah we died on the the tank didn't we now that i'm remembering <laughs> um this is not good i i just realized we walked into this fight with uh with nothing essentially uh we could have died there No, I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> no. Oh well. It was a good episode in, in either in any case, honestly. Um, but thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, thank you for being here. Thanks for the support. I uh, hope your Saturday is going well so far. Yeah, I know. I know what day it is. Um, but yeah. I mean, I guess if you're not watching this, the day it comes out, then that's kind of moot. All right. But if you, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to watch future episodes, hit that sub button. Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.